Okay, let's get this shit over to fucking assholes so we can continue the quest. Completed the challenge. Yes, and don't tell me again. Okay, so I need to do wood cutting now, which requires... Do I actually have the equipment for wood cutting on me? I do. I have the axe. Okay, sweet. So I need to select wood cutting as my objective, pin that up, and I'll go over and do the wood cutting challenge and get that out of the way. Honestly, I don't know how I haven't gotten in the room the wood cutting challenge already with all the food I've been cooking. I guess I have been burning the logs. Why did my mining level up to four by cutting down the fucking tree? That doesn't make sense. Ooh, uh, what's this? A challenge mystery bag. Oh, yeah, those are the things they give you for completing the challenges. I'm not gonna open them yet. There we go. I'm assuming I just need to get her a certain amount of wood. Yeah, I got the wood. Okay, sweet. So I just gotta actually go talk to her. Okay, let's go talk to her. In fact, I probably have a lot of this stuff in the bank. I could probably just turn most of it in. Yeah, here you go. I completed a challenge. What, what are you talking about? I have the stuff right here. It says I have three of three. Okay, fine. I'll chop one more fucking log because apparently you don't want to recognize that the one in my bank, which I don't have on me, which I'm not going into my bank to get, since you said you could go into the bank and get it yourself. Apparently you're not. Also, a bit intrusive, you know, just going into my bank and snatching stuff out of it. What gives you the right to access my bank account? Okay. I've completed the challenge. Yeah, I did it. Please let this be the last challenge. Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to pin it. Uh, I need to go hit shrimp and crayfish. Okay, and that means I need to probably go to the bank and get my fishing net or rod or whatever out. I think it's a net, if I remember correctly. Uh, they might have switched it to a rod, though. Uh, where is it? I'm pretty sure it's in here somewhere. Uh, I could search for it, I suppose. Okay. I could, but I actually don't know what it's called. So, that, that's kind of annoying. I guess I'll just have to look one by one until I find it. Where are you? Where the fuck are you? Don't tell me you're lost now for no reason. Do I actually need a fishing rod or is it just going to let me fish? Maybe it's just going to let me fish because I didn't see one in there. Maybe my guy just literally pulls the fishing rod out of his ass. Though that doesn't seem like something this game would do given that I have to carry... Actually, no, I... Actually, never mind. I used to have to carry around my pickaxe for mining and stuff, but that's not necessarily true anymore, so maybe I don't have to carry this around. No, apparently I don't. I literally just pull the basket out of my ass and just start fishing. That's also a very... Fishing is also a very fast way to get, you know, food. Oh, I was typing in chat. Okay, get rid of that. There we go. Yeah, fishing is a very fast way to get food. But, um... I need to level it up before it's useful. And I'm probably gonna... It's probably what I'm gonna be doing for the boss fight. I need to get, um... Ah, uh, what was it? Swordfish or something? I think was uh, really good food. I've completed the challenge. Look, look, right here. Oh, I need... Fuck, I need five. I'm so used to only needing three that I literally just grab three and just like, oh, here you go. And I don't really see the point of these challenges, honestly. They taught us all this stuff in the tutorial, so why are they making us do it? It just doesn't make sense. Oh, well. Okay, let's see. Well, that's that. So let's get this back over there. Now we have five fucking fish. We can turn this in. And we can move on to the Ashdale quest, which actually sounds kind of interesting, investigating a bunch of missing persons. I'm 
tired of your tall jokes. Ah, oh, yes, I did it. All the basic challenges are done. Now that's all done, you can see all the tasks I have for you, but I'll only reward you for the daily challenges I assign you specifically. Oh, and one more thing. I found a baby troll sniffing around my thing. Could you take a look at it for me? Thanks. You have adopted a baby troll pet. To have him follow you, open your inventory. Um, you can feed the baby troll by using an object on him from your inventory. Watch out. If he likes how it tastes, you won't get it back. Oh, yes. Free players only have access to two challenge slots. I don't care about challenges, to be honest with you, so that doesn't really concern me. And now we get to head over to Travelry and actually continue the quest and hopefully encounter another amazing quest line like the Varric one. It looks like that's exactly what we're going to be doing, the Shadow of Rashdale, which sounds really cool. Investigating disappearances is really something I'm into. Mm, this is an interesting looking town. I'm not sure if this is a new town or if it's a redesigned town. Honestly, I'm not really sure. Because they did a lot of redesigns to all the towns and settlements in this game, so it could be either one, to be honest. What can I do for ya? Ask about a shadow over Ashdale. I received some trouble in news, Lotte. As you probably know, supplies are ferried over to Ashdale on a regular basis, but a few weeks ago the supply ship started returning with their cargo still aboard. Apparently the island has been completely deserted, there's a soul to be seen, and survivors say that an evil aura hangs over the place. Not sure I'm eager to find out what's going on, but I'm too old to get to get off to that island by myself. I need someone to travel to Ashdale and investigate. I'll accept the quest. I knew I could count on you, lad. When you're ready to leave, just head out onto the dock. The boat will take you directly to Ashdale. Good luck, laddie. I'm assuming Ashdale is the island I came from, originally. I'm assuming that's the case. Yeah, I'll go back to Ashdale. I think, because they, they said I was an Ashlander, so I'm pretty sure Ashdale is my country of origin. Or town, or island, or whatever. All right, so we're here, and it's raining. You know things are about to get real when it's raining. Also, the literal end of the world is here. Just, 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 just nothingness down there. Just, it just drops off. In fact, I'm surprised we even docked. We had to like squeeze around. Apparently, Ashdale is literally at the edge of the RuneScape world, and apparently, flat earthers were right. The world is actually flat, which is very interesting. Ah, oh, I can hear lightning. I will, oh, inspect the slime. Go back, let's inspect the slime. A puddle of sticky green gloop. Ugh. That's not foreboding at all. Alright. So, I'm going to make the assumption that all ancient evils will head towards the church and we can't reach it. Okay, so maybe the people have barricaded themselves in the church. Okay, there's a claw, which seems to imply giant crabs? But why would giant crabs be attacking this island? That sounds a bit ridiculous. Then again, this is RuneScape. I, maybe I shouldn't be that surprised by the fact that a... Who, who are you? I'm here to help. Oh, thanks, Sarah Doman. What happened here? We were attacked by these creatures. Horrible, horrible creatures. Like something from a nightmare. They came out of nowhere, and before we knew it, we were surrounded. We made barricades, but the creatures just climbed over them. I managed to avoid them by hiding in the attic, but the others... Gee, you mean to tell me that the creatures were able to climb over these tiny-ass barricades? Oh, I have to admit, I gotta give them credit, they're a bit- they're smarter than most video game main characters who can't seem to climb over things either. The others weren't so lucky. What happened to the townspeople? The creatures took them away, but I don't know where. I remember seeing them dragging off poor Diggory. Oh, it was horrible. All he wanted to do was dig a fucking hole. Okay, where are they now? I don't know. I didn't see where they went, and I didn't dare leave my hiding place. If I had to guess, I'd say they were hiding underneath the island somewhere, but I don't know for sure. Why haven't you tried to leave? What? On my own? You need more than one person to sail a ship, you know. 
Well, you have a ship waiting in the shore, and several supply vessels have already arrived. You could have sought refuge on them. No. All I could do is wait and hope that someone would come to help. And now someone has. I need to go to the other side of the island. You're not going to leave me, are you? You have to get me out of here. I have to find the other townspeople. But I understand. If you want to get to the other side of the island, your best bet is going to be the sewers. For fuck's sakes. Why is it always the sewers? Why? No one likes using the sewers. The barricades will make it hard to navigate the streets. Oh, fuck me. Don't tell me I can't jump over the tiny ass barricade either. I mean, it's not that fucking hard. And if there are any of those creatures around, you don't want to get caught while you're clambering over a stack of barrels. Actually, I'm pretty sure that I'll be fine clambering over a stack of barrels. It's not doesn't look that difficult. I could just push them over. There's an entrance outside, just through the back door. Please, be careful, and don't forget about me. Oh, I see. Caring about yourself before everyone else. Yeah, I'm glad to see your priorities are straight. Alright, let's go and inspect this place then. Alright, so, Sewer Rat, I'm assuming you're friendly. Yeah, you're friendly. Good, good. Oh, wait, wait, there's something over there. Oh, oh, yes, gold coins. See, I think about myself before everyone else, too, and it always pays off. You know, I don't know why... Like, sewer, green sewer water is very... Ugh, it's just disgusting. What is? What are these people eating that has caused this water to become so acidic? Like, super acid, basically. Especially when we don't have, like, processed food in this day and age. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Crab people. Crab people. Walk like crabs. Talk like people. Crab people. Yeah, like, it literally is a crab person. Okay. He's also just a scout. Are they sentient, or are they just monsters? Honestly, I'm, my bet's on monster. I don't think these things are sentient. I can't imagine them being sentient. Then again, maybe that's just, um, racism speaking. Oh, fuck, I should have brought food. I didn't bring any food with me. I'm not, I'm not able to heal then. I might have to head out to the surface and go back to a bank. I, I totally forgot that possibility. You see, when I read this quest, I thought we were going to be investigating, like, people disappearing in the town. I had no idea we would actually be fighting hundreds of monsters beneath the city. And this thing is actually an asshole. Okay, so I, uh, after this, I'm going to head up to the surface, and I'm going to definitely, most def assuredly, going to get some fucking food, because there's no way I'll be able to survive down here. Not like this, at least. Okay, so we need to actually head over to the bank. Not you. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get to the surface. We gotta go. We gotta split. We gotta get off this island, we gotta go up to this back and bang. We gotta get some all the meat I gathered from Lumbridge, which is admittedly not a lot. We need to use it. It's our only hope. Yeah, assuming it even lets us out of here. Yeah, well, okay, thank god. Okay, so we can actually head back up to the surface. Yeah, it sucks. Is there a bank on the island maybe I can use, or by the ships or something? Because, you know... I'm pretty sure a lot of new players aren't going to realize that this is like a death the trap quest that once you go into it, there's going to be hell to pay if you haven't brought your food supplies. It definitely didn't warn us about it at the very least. Or I didn't see a warning. Maybe there was. Alright, so let's just... Bo yeah, okay, we can actually board the ship and head back. Okay, yes, yeah, so let's, let's get out of here. We're just going to leave these people behind for, like, hours, potentially, as the children are getting eaten and all that good stuff. You know how it goes. Uh, skip this cutscene. I don't need to see this cutscene again. Yeah. We'll just let a few of the children get eaten, and, um, in the meantime, I'll go get the food from the bank, assuming there's a bank nearby. Yes, there is. Okay, good. So I can actually go grab the food items from my bank and, um, just immediately head back over there.